Okay, let's come to reversible process. Now, before getting into reversible process, there, there are certain aspects which we have got to understand. All right, so what we do is now here we have got a cylinder with a rigid movable piston. Gas is filled in. All right, now when gas is there, it exerts n number of moles of gases there inside. Now, that gas exerts pressure on the piston. All right. Now it exerts pressure and as a result of that the piston from here initially the volume was V1 moves over to this place. All right. Now piston from here the piston moves to this place. So volume has increased. Why has volume increased or why has rather why has the piston moved up? Piston moved up only because there is external pressure acting on the piston from outside and there is internal pressure which we designated by P and external pressure which we designated by P E X T from external. Now obviously because internal pressure was much greater than that of external pressure that's why it pushed it out and covered up this distance T. Alright. So there has to be difference between internal pressure P and external pressure P E X T. Now that's what I have written over here. Del P that is change in pressure internal minus external since it has moved up the piston has moved up so internal pressure obviously was much greater than that of external pressure so it has moved up. Now whenever we are talking in terms of reversible process now let me just try to make you understand um, okay all right now when we are talking about reversible process, we have got to take care that there is no energy lost while we are recovering. Now, for example, when I push the piston down, all right, when I push the piston down, I have done some work, all right. I've applied force and I've done also the displacement. I've applied force and displacement, so work I have done. So I've done some work. I have pushed the piston down and brought it over here. So I have done some work into displacement some work I have done all right now if I want to recover that work suppose I did 20 joules work I did just an assumption now if I pull it up fast to this level then what is going to happen there is going to be some friction between the piston and wall since there would be friction between piston and wall so there would be some heat generated I mean, just do like this friction heat generated so what is happening that 20 joules work which we have done when i am taking it back there i have lost some calories calories can be converted into joules you know that conversion factor so i have lost some joule so i cannot recover the work reversibly it would be recovered irreversibly so what do i do to get the work back 20 joules i have done for this so for getting it back 20 joules for getting back my 20 joules what do I what do I have to do I want to see that there's no heat loss going to friction of piston and wall fine so I've got to take it up very slowly infinitesimally that is infinitesimal is very small infinitesimally here so why when is that I have got to take it up very very slowly all right now when we are talking about this system we are talking about p external which is from outside and p is from internal so work would be done reversibly only when this pressure is infinitesimally greater than the external pressure all right this pressure has to be infinitesimally greater than p external only then the piston would move very slowly and since it would move very slowly there won't be any loss owing to heat owing to friction of piston with wall of cylinder got it so so del p that is difference in pressure external external and internal p minus p x t is del p right difference in pressure between internal and external this del p has to be infinitesimally small all right so that difference in pressure 
has to be very small only then we can do it reversibly so fine okay let's come back to deriving an expression for reversible process all right now in reversible process now that is the expression for getting maximum work so it's it's for getting ex this expression is for getting expression for maximum work right for getting back maximum work why because there is no loss of heat owing to friction between piston and the wall of cylinder fine so let's get into that derivation now, whenever we mention dv that itself means it is infinite decimally small change in volume and del p is equal to p minus p x t this is what i'm talking about del p is equal to p minus p x t that also is infinite decimally small so everything that we are doing is in a very slow mode all right okay in a slow mode okay to begin with if we come over here pressure you know is force upon area so force is equal to p external into area a we took it here so it became p external into a now why is this negative there now keep c as i have mentioned over here force pressure internal pressure is slightly greater so it's applying force in upward direction whereas p external is in the downward direction right opposite direction f and p e x t in opposite direction so negative so you understood why we got negative in the formula okay now let's go to formula for work work we know is dv now here we are doing work in a very small level right dv 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 like that small so dw small work is minus p dv i explained you why dv is because we are doing it reversibly so small change we have got to bring all right and minus i already explained here why minus all right now once we get dv 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 till this dv 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 this then what we have got to do integrate integrated integrate means add all those dv so we do integrate what is the range at which we integrate it is from initial volume to final volume this is the final volume right this was initial if i rub it off so if i rub it off this is the final volume that we got all right so initial volume was v1 final volume is v2 so v1 to v2 is the range dw so same thing we put in over here also now but we also know that pv is equal to nrt gas law right so p is equal to nrt over v so this becomes the formula for pressure so we can just substitute that over here nrt over v so p is equal to nrt over v so we can jolly well substitute instead of p we can substitute that that's what i did now on doing that integration when we do integration the constant term comes out so here also nrt are constant and its number of moles are its gas constant its temperature at which we are carrying on the process so nrt constant so taken out along with negative so we have 1 over v dv now for integration keep in mind integration we already have learned it has to have the handle dv of variable all right so it has it the situation is clear so we also know that 1 over x dx is ln x all right so in next step your your this part gets converted to ln ln x ln ln gets converted to your this part gets converted to ln v and the range which was there from v1 to v2 gets sent here this is all mathematical aspect now all right so then what's the next rule next rule is this, this ln first this ln v takes this value first done then we get negative and then it takes this value so it took this value so we got this formula now we also know rule of law whenever ln v take it out negative becomes division so that's what happened v2 my v2 ln v2 minus ln v1 ln when taken out common v2 divided by v1 this is the formula that we get now ln we cannot 
for ln we cannot see in log book so we have got to convert it to log to the base 10 so the conversion factor is we have got to multiply with 2.303 we have got to multiply so what's the multiple the multiple is 2.303 so we multiply 2.303 and this ln gets converted to log to the base 10 why log to the base 10 if we have log to the base 10 then we can see it in our log book all right the values that we check out right that i taught few videos before log all right so so now this becomes our formula for maximum work so maximum work formula is this all right v2 over v1 but we also know that p1 v1 is equal to p2 v2 boils law we know that right at constant temperature so that itself means p1 over p2 is equal to v2 over v1 fine so v2 over v1 can also be written as p1 over p2 got it so this is the formula for when we are doing work reversibly and isothermally isothermally so there's no change in temperature so whenever we are doing this work this is the formula that we have got to use and the concept is what it has to change by a very small value all right so so what are the two things that we learned about uh, reversible work reversible is reversibly reversibly and isothermally when would the relation between pressure and temperature maintained when we are carrying out the process with del p infinite decimally smaller value all right so small change got it so these are the processes so processes we are through with isothermal adiabatic isobaric isochoric and reversible process all right